Everybody knows that technology has a limited shelf life, a point at which it becomes irrelevant, and you have to dispose of it. But one thing has lasted much longer than anybody had ever suspected would be possible, and that's the QWERTY keyboard. Uh, the QWERTY design actually dates back shortly after the Civil War, over 140 years ago. And it predates the telephone, the modern light bulb, and AC power. It's kind of odd that we're still utilizing it for our most modern technology, our cell phones and our computers. And so here's what we think is a better solution for our mobile situation. Being able to touch type with only 10 buttons, one for each finger. Hold one button and press another, you've got 100 combinations. And the neat thing about it is with 10 fingers and two opposable thumbs, it's a single press for the first 10 letters, hold one thumb for eight, hold the other thumb for eight, eight and eight is 16 plus 10 is 26. 26 letters. Really simple way of being able to provide the entire alphabet plus every other keystroke with only one press and another. 100 keystrokes. It's that simple. Now let me show you that one more time. This is how it works. A single press, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, then hold one thumb, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, then hold the other thumb, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Then hold your index finger, space, backspace, enter, P is period, Q is question mark, exclamation, T is tab, C is common apostrophe. Press L for lock and N for number, and then it's a single press, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And on your other index finger, you have A is ampersand, T is tilde, C is colon, and semicolon. X is your asterisk, Q is your quote, and then your at symbol, slash and backslash. When you press the C button, you have your cursor up, cursor down, cursor right, and cursor left. It's a simple way of being able to provide the entire alphabet, every letter, function, number, and symbol, hold one button and press another, rather than race your fingers all around on a big device. It's no longer about what the computer needs to operate, it's what we need to operate. And what we bring to the table is 10 fingers, a simple way of being able to provide every keystroke in a much more mobile situation. We think it has great application for not only mobile devices, but also for people with limited mobility, disability, people that are even bedridden, would be able to have a keyboard that they can type and text with, with one hand, and not have to look. It also increases safety, because without having to look at a keyboard and poke, you can continue to walk, you can continue to carry on a conversation, and you don't have to worry about falling into a fountain or walking into a manhole. I think we can go forward with this type of technology and be able to advance the way we use mobile technology. Now we've developed this product to a large extent on our own, and we're looking for people that are interested in helping us take it a little bit further, manufacture, and help distribute. Thank you for watching.